cannot see the next. Yeah, uh, the content of my presentation is actually a background of uh, an aim of the study, uh, methodology, result, and in the end, I'm going to talk about uh, conclusion. The project objective is to develop a new filter material that is able to remove both particle and gaseous pollutants. Uh, it is unique because uh, you can simultaneously remove all gas and particles. And we have had uh, a lot of material that uh, remove particles and we have charcoal filter that can remove gases. But here is question about uh, simultaneous uh, removal of gases and particles. Of course, we want to uh, uh, to install it in an air supply for residential building uh, with the aim to improve the indoor quality. Actually, the indoor quality, uh, uh, when we look at the indoor quality, the source is from outdoor and from indoor. So uh, the aim is this filter with these installed uh, between outdoor and indoor in order to remove particle and causes that will enter the building. So uh, what we are going to study is the filter efficiency will be evaluated on the control conditions in the laboratory. Uh, and in addition to this one, the impact of the filter in form of energy, I mean pressure loss, and uh, will be a study and also filter quality factor will be discussed and evaluated. In the end, the effectiveness of the novel filter will be evaluated under realistic condition in naturally ventilated residential building. But the last part, I mean, the effectiveness of the filter in realistic is it, it is not undertaken because of the coronavirus, so we didn't have to, time to do it. So, summary, the aim of the studies, as I said, uh, uh, develop a novel nanofiber filter and that can remove particle gases and the resulting filter should have a pressure drop that has a minimal impact on building energy use when installed in a supply system. Remember that I'm talking about supply system for uh, ventilation for a building that has exhaust, uh, uh, mechanical exhaust and natural oil. Also, of course, we can also uh, install it in a naturally ventilated system also. Here, I'm going to talk about methodology. Uh, we have different part of methodology in this one. Here is electro spinning uh, uh, that uh, uh, is a vertical downward in a controlled environment and the fiber are equally distributed onto the area thanks to the movement of uh, needle. So you can see here a video how we did it. So here you can see the how the fiber are uh, distributed on the, uh, in this area. The result is actually a, a, membrane, a porous uh, membrane filter that I can uh, show you very soon uh, here. That's uh, the filter that you can see it. And uh, this filter actually is from cellulose acetate dissolved in acetone and is used to fabricate the fibers is a polymer based fiber from polymer solvent and solution. Another thing about methodology is air spraying process. You can see here two solution sprayed separately is a titanium dioxide nanoparticles displayed in a mix of 80% isopropanol and 20% ethanol. In addition to this one, we have also activated charcoal powder in a mix of 80% isopropanol and 20% uh, ethanol. So, compressed airflow, so you can see it here, uh, compressed airflow at 10 liters per minute using the airbrush. Airbrush is here uh, in picture. The filter lie on the grid here, uh, uh, positioned vertically inside the box. The solution was sprayed 
twice. It means two times we spray, two minutes spray, and one hour drying at 70 degrees. So we repeat it one more time. Again, about the methodology, fiber characterization. Um, I don't know if you are familiar with scan, scanning electron microscopy. You can make a, such a picture that you can see in the front of my text. Uh, so evaluated the fiber morphology and porosity of the fiber, uh, of the filters. Here you can see the external micrometer that you can measure. Uh, that's the equipment that you can uh, measure the uh, the, uh, the uh, thickness of the uh, fi uh, filters uh, uh, with this external micrometer. Here is a methodology regarding the air filtration performance. Here is a question about particles removal. So if you look at this, this setup, so we have two parts. We have charging mode. So it means the particle uh, become charged. And the, another one is the filter. So we call it for collecting section. So the filters, the filtration model is divided into, uh, into charging and collecting section. Then filter, uh, filtration efficiency uh, charge particle at 0.8 meter per second fa uh, phase velocity and pressure drop in the phase velocity range is between 0.035 meter per second to 1 meter per second. Here is a question about uh, or the picture or methodology regarding the uh, uh, chemical substances. I mean, here we tested toluene. Uh, it means that toluene was used in order to know how much uh, chemical substance that can be removed. The filter were pleated inside a quartz tube that you can see it uh, here uh, in this sphere. And black, light blue UV light uh, to uh, what shine during the uh, 30 minutes over the membrane. Here is a, some result that we have done. So uh, the, you can see here, uh, we have uh, one filter that it is uh, actually cellulose acetate, pure cellulose acetate without any mixing of other material. The number two is actually cellulose acetate uh, in combination with charcoal filter, ch charcoal materials. And the third one, is uh, uh, cellulose acetate uh, in combination with titanium dioxide. In the end, the third one is a composite filter. The composite filter is cellulose acetate um, and activated charcoal. Again, cellulose acetate and titanium dioxide. So you can see here, so for the, for the composite filter, so we have uh, four layers uh, that yeah, you can see the four layers, uh, so it is a little bit uh, uh, the thickness increase when you have four different uh, filters together. The result that we can see here, interesting is, the first is porosity and thickness that we measure. The porosity for, uh, for cellulose acetate is a, a 42 and the thickness is 0.11. And for the uh, cellulose acetate and activated charcoal, it was 38.5 and 0.40. And for cellulose acetate and titanium dioxide, it was 32.5 and 0.15. So the composite, it was four different uh, material. So you can see that the porosity was 34.4 and Thickness was 0.18. Here I show some results regarding the pressure drop because pressure drop was important from the beginning when we talk about uh, residential building, naturally, um, naturally supply ventilation system, the pressure drop should be very low and pressure drop is also important regarding the, uh, in respect with, uh, with the energy. In this picture, you can see the pressure drop here, and you can see the phase velocity here. Here, you have a phase velocity between 
2 meter per second until 0.1 meter per second. But the, another figure is a pressure drop that you can see uh, is here, and uh, phase velocity is at 0.7 meter per second until 1 meter per second. For this result, so you can see that the pressure drop below 7 Pascal is here. So you see here is uh, the pressure drop below 7 Pascal for phase velocity below 9 centimeter per second, which it is natural ventilation conditions. The pressure drop is mixed, is max 75 Pascal when we have, when the, sorry, when the phase velocity increased that you can see it in this picture here. Um, so it means that the use of additive increase the pressure drop, of course, it's clear because you have more uh, material and the composite, the composite filter recorded a non-significant increase of pressure drop compared to the pure, um, uh, I mean, the pure materials. Here, some result regarding the uh, particles removal and single pass efficiency. So here you can see single pass efficiency in person, and here you can see particle diameter. The particle diameter is 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 1, 3, 5, and 10 uh, micrometer. So the results show that the use of filter has major impact on the filtration efficiency of small particles below 0 0.5 micrometer. So for particle size between 0.3 and 0.5 micrometer, the uh, cellulose acetate um, uh, and um, in combination with activated charcoal and also cellulose acetate in combination with titanium dioxide filter recorded an increased filtration efficiency of 9.2% uh, and 4.8% respectively compared to the pure uh, pure cellulose acetate. The composite filter has a particle removal efficiency of 95% for particle size and of uh, one micrometer and 100% for particle size between five and 10 micrometer. High removal efficiency for particle above three, uh, three micrometer was observed. Here I will show the quality factor quality factor, what's this? It, it is the ratio between pressure drop and filtration efficiency. So you can see when you have a pure material, the uh, quality factor is 0.02 here. When you have a, uh, when we have cellulose acetate in combination with char charcoal, so you see the, uh, uh, the, the uh, quality factor increase a little bit. And when we have it, the titanium dioxide, you have 0.022. And in, uh, uh, when you have a composite uh, filter, so you have 0.27. So the combination of activated charcoal filter, charcoal and titanium dioxide into a composite filter has reached a higher filtration efficiency at the cost of a slightly increased pressure drop. Here, I want to show you the removal of the gas uh, compounds uh, because from the beginning we talk about removal of the gases and particles. So you can see here that we have uh, normalized uh, toluene concentration and here you have time in minutes. So you can see here that the, the top uh, line here is uh, pure, um, uh, pure material and uh, and uh, cellulose acetate in combination with titanium dioxide, and the line here under is the composite material and um, uh, and cellulose acetate in combination with charcoal filter. So you see, when we have a charcoal filter in the material in combination, and when we have a pure material, which is so you can see that we can remove the gases. So toluene concentration before the filter was 22.5. Uh, ppm, so activated charcoal does not reach the uh, uh, breakthrough the, in 40 minutes of testing. So the filter containing titanium distal have shown a non-significant reduction of toluene concentration with uh, photocatalytic oxidation. 
we find also something very uh, strange that you can see here when we start the jubilee so we find some kind of formaldehyde we need to go in deep and study this one in deep it is not clear yet but we are going to look at that in the future so the activated charcoal filter activated charcoal present in um, in cellulose acetate and uh, activated charcoal and composite filter had has absorbed tolerant and reach an initial removal efficiency of 39.6 and 33.1 percent conclusion uh, additive have an effect on the fiber my uh, i mean uh, leading to increased infiltration efficiency, a slightly higher pressure drop. Relativity, uh, re relatively uh, low pressure drop was achieved for all filter, less than seven Pascal per phase velocity below nine centimeter per second. Particle removal efficiency above 80% for a composite filter and the particle size between 0.3 micrometer and 10 micrometer. Activated charcoal in filter and composite filter removed up to 39.6% of tolerance at steady state concentration. It means 22.5 uh, ppm. We need to future for the future go in deep and study different things. We have to look at the UV lamp characteristics. We want to look at the regeneration capacity of the material, and we will see other things that you can see it here. Also, the realistic condition within a residential building will be studied. Thank you for your attention.